Okay guys, welcome back. And it's been a few, uh, few videos now since we're really kind of done our core equipment review. Yes. Uh, sort of stock video. And we want to get back to that a little bit. Again, you know, we, uh, we know that this is a time of year you guys are conscious about what, what to try in the marketplace. And maybe you're out there making some decisions. And we want to try and help with that by testing some stuff. So um, we've been excited to, to try this new Rogue, the Rogue Fairway, Fairway for a while. Yep. Uh, this is one that I've heard about for probably most of the winter time since it was in prototype from mm -hmm. some players who had some early samples and everyone said to me, you have to try this Rogue really? Fairway Wood. Yeah. Jailbreaking in the Fairway Wood is unbelievable. Last year Callaway didn't have that in the Epic line. They had it in the driver but they didn't have jailbreak in the, the Fairway and hybrid like they do this and year. And that's the big story for this That year. is the big story. So, you know, Callaway really changed their Fairway Wood game when they added cup face technology to the Fairway yep. Wood. Remember that was that? part of the X hotline. Um, mm. You know, that came out just after TaylorMade launched RBZ and obviously the Fairway Woods were, were becoming a real hot topic in the fitting world. Yep. So, um, you know, Callaway countered TaylorMade's RBZ with, the, with obviously the, the slot technology um, in the bottom of it with, yep. with cup face. So they've kind of taken it the step further and they've, uh, they've added, with cup face, they've added jailbreak. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the making the, the, the body of the driver a little bit more rigid, bonding the top and the bottom, making sure that energy is stored and, and kind of um, repelled out the front of the head rather yep. than being lost out of the body of the golf club. And in your fittings, you saw that technology work amazingly well on the driver. Incredible. And I mean, so, it's, it, it, miss hits on, uh, a ball speed on miss hits was, yeah. was through the roof. And this is a club that people are going to miss hit. Like, you're not going to hit a three wood dead nuts every time. For sure. So it's definitely been one that we've been kind of itching to see to what see it. what kind of forgiveness you're going to get out of it. Because that's really what it is. It's getting your miss hits with this club to be yeah. better than last year's model. Right, exactly. So that, you know, that ball speed maintenance is a big thing yes. too. And uh, one major difference this year as well as obviously having jailbreak is that this year the dry, the fairway wood is bonded. Right, the shaft and uh, head, yeah. head is bonded. So it's no longer a connectable, it's no longer an adjustable hosel. Mm. They now have the shaft going straight in there, which you know, they, a lot of people say well, increases the feel and mm. that type of thing. There's still, I think there's still time where the, this um, adjustable sleeves are, are also very useful. Yeah, like um, as a fitter, are you almost disappointed to see that it's glued? I'm not, yeah. I, in all honesty. I really like a bonded uh, fairway okay. wood. I, I personally use uh, a bonded fairway wood. I, I've, never, I've never actually uh, gamed a, an a adapter. A For a fairway. With adapter, yeah, Interesting. With the fairways. So, um, you know, we, we're really excited to see how this one, one tests. So we're yeah. going to get Matt to hit a few. Um, sometimes we, we ask Matt to dial his speed back a little bit. Today we're, we're going to yeah. let him loose. Because I think it, we want to see the ball speed changes yeah. on the off center. I guarantee you I'll hit some off center. So we want to see if it, if it keeps up with the center hits. Without a doubt. And, uh, you know, initial looks. I mean, today is the first day you've seen it. What did you think? I think it looks great. So I noticed it doesn't look too deep. Yep. I thought the Epic seemed deeper, right. whether it is or it isn't. Right. That's not something I know for sure. but. Mm -hmm. It looks quite playable, but it looks compact. It doesn't yeah. have a huge frame. It's a good looking club. Great looking. I, uh, I think they did a nice job with it. Yeah, the aesthetics are nice. Uh, looks very playable. I, I really like the footprint. I was, mm -hmm. I was uh, a little concerned when I first saw the pictures. I thought it might be a little small in the head, but when I actually okay. put it down and, uh, and, and sort of saw the, how it framed uh, the ball, it, it looks really, really I think good. it will suit a lot of people's eye. It's Put not it so big that it's you know, too big for players, but yeah. it's, it's balanced. Initial testing's actually shown that it launches up a little bit. So, hmm. um, you know, you're a five wood player. Uh, yeah, I just don't you really don't carry three a three wood. wood, no. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of numbers yeah. this gives. I haven't actually tested out a three wood in, in years, actually. This so. is this is brilliant. Well, yeah. this is this will be a good test then to see what it does. Okay, well, let's hit a few. Let's check it out, yeah. yeah. Okay, Matt, so we've paired this up with a shaft you're very familiar with. Uh, yes. We've had a lot of success with this profile in the past, the Acra 275 M5. Yep. You really seem to do well with it, so let's let's pair that up and uh, see how that does with the new head. We've hit a few in a driver and a three wood. We have, this. we yeah. have. We do quite well with that one. It's actually in the store, it's our best selling uh, fair wood shaft. Really? Yeah, it performs really well. And is this the one that uh, Tony Finau is using? Yeah, he's using a, a slightly more beefed up version. He uses the 400 series gotcha. uh, version. That, this is the 200 series, which gotcha. is a little softer tip which really makes it suitable for the fairways. It's probably best that I'm not playing the same as that big guy, eh? You're not far away.
A nice feeling club. You're not going to want that one back. No. That's a very nice feeling club. Ooh. Guys, this, this thing from what we are hearing is an absolute rocket launcher. Um, I mean, 160 ball speed on, on a fairway wood is, is legit. I mean, you, you wouldn't need a driver going to play the golf courses that you play. No. That was really nice. Okay, let's Good see first a hit. More. Turned it a bit. Turned it, but you struck it really good. Yeah. And that thing is coming off. It's, it feels extremely hot <laughs> on the club face. Okay. I'm trying to think of a club to compare the feel to, but honestly, I don't, I don't remember hitting a fairway that feels that jumpy. It's really nice. Just changed the start line a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I just tried Matt. to, I knew I was going to turn it a bit, so I just aimed a little left. That's a good flight. Yeah, it's coming out nice, eh? Yeah, 285. I okay, felt so on, the, on the toe, but yeah. it felt pretty stable. How did we do on ball speed there? Well, we, we maintained a decent amount of ball speed. 158, we lost just a fraction. It cost us 10 yards, but... That was way on the toe, to be honest with you. Yeah. That, that was way out there. It was. It was 22 millimeters yeah, out like that, there. To me, that should be a terrible shot. Yeah. And yeah. it really did a good job. That was a good hit. A little bit of spin in that one. I could see the lift on it. That's kind of how you would rather hit fairway wood, isn't it? Off the ground, especially. I was going to say, that's probably a more playable shot into oh, the green. A, a way more functional flight for you to, to spin it a little bit more. Um, that was probably just a function of being a little less sweepy with it versus the other ones. Playing yeah. a bit more neutral shape. You certainly get the, the angle of attack on the way up. Um, at times add a little bit of dynamic loft. Okay, let's see, um, let's see a couple, couple more. That's probably the best hit I've had. It may have been a fraction low on the face. That was well hit though. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Like in, in my mind for you, 275 to 280 was what I was hoping you would get. Yeah. You're right around, right around that. And if you really wanted to rip one with a draw, you could get more out of it. But without a doubt, I mean that's the thing. If you wanted to, uh, you know, tee this one up, we're hitting this one off the turf. If you wanted to, to tee up a little bit, right? Um, you know, you could certainly shallow that, shallow it out, and get a little bit less dynamic loft. And and you'd naturally be striking a bit higher on the face, take your spin off a bit. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. It uh, it doesn't feel difficult to hit off the deck at all, though. Is that right? So yeah. I don't know if there's a center of gravity adjustment, but mm -hmm. in terms of getting it up in the air, it doesn't seem difficult at all. And we're um, it's important to note we are hitting the standard rogue version. So there's two heads. There's the sub zero for the player who's looking for yep. a little bit less spin. You know, a little more forward CG, mm. which is going to uh, spin a little bit less. So for the, the really uh, strong players who struggle with spinning up a little bit, that, that's going to be a real yeah. game changer for them. Maybe someone who uses it more as a tee club. Yeah, definitely. Would, yeah, a little back up if suitable. they struggle with a driver a little bit. Yeah. So, I mean, for, for you, Matt, I would look at this and go, well, three wood's an option again. Kind of, yeah. It's a good it's Yeah, a good because club. you're hitting it plenty, plenty high enough. Yeah. So, you, you know, if you want to hit it a bit higher, you certainly can. You can spin it a bit more. Um, so I, I wouldn't say you necessarily have to default into five wood anymore. No. Um, you know, you could possibly look at bringing this back into the bag. Okay. Um, so thumbs up. Like it? I think it, honestly, yeah, from just hitting the few shots we hit, it, it feels really good. Yeah. Forgiveness-wise, I would say, you know, the marketing is feasible. Like, it, it feels very solid across yeah, the face. Yeah, across the face. We didn't see terrible drop in ball speed mm -hmm. uh, that one off the toe that was a bad shot yeah, like yeah. In, in all seriousness i yeah. towed it pretty bad yeah but we lost five mile an hour yeah that's not, not crazy. livable stuff like you could you could be okay with that for sure okay. so i can see what and they're doing this in the hybrid as well is yeah right? jailbreaking the hybrid now they have the the rogue and the rogue x right. which is slightly bigger it's, it's like a little little hybrid on steroids oh, okay. this yep. is a really juiced up little uh, hybrid if you're looking to get a little bit more out of it yeah. actually the profile being a little wider it kind of almost looks like a little mini fairy wood okay yeah it's, it's more nice. uh front to back slightly slightly wider body gotcha uh which is which is really good so um 
Guys, uh, I think this is definitely one you have to get out and try. Um, mm -hmm. You know, some really good fairy woods out in the market. We're, we're already seeing good stuff from the TaylorMade M4. Yes. Uh, that's, again, that's you know, following on from last year's M2 we've done well with, but M4 is also particularly good. Uh, I'm still enjoying the, the Titleist 917 mm. F2. Uh, I, I see really good results with that. So, um, I, again, just get out and give it a try. Come and see guys like us. We can pair you up with the right head with the right shaft and obviously that way you can get it dialed in a little bit more. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.